any kind of manufactured objects. Can you point it out on the map where that is? No, I cannot do that. Oh. Mm -hmm. That and indeed archaeological site location um, information is deemed so sensitive by the oh. state of Colorado to share that is a, is a felony. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And in fact, nationally, um, archaeological site locations are actually exempt from the Federal Freedom of Information Act. Of course, this all makes sense, right? You got looters, collectors, right? You get that. Um, so we did have, yeah, so, so we go out there and we, ha yes? Well, if you can't point out where it is, which I don't want you to, um, uh, how would you tell the trail designer where not to put a trail? This is all part of the planning process, and we'll get to that. Okay. It is on the edge of the northern escarpment. Okay. Somewhere. Somewhere. We have some, yeah, we have a lot of escarpment here. Near Catch your twenty two. Um, it's incredible. You know, some of these areas are incredibly deep, deeply channeled for stuff that probably is only cut within the last century, century and a half. <coughs> Um, yeah, pretty, you know, pretty nasty. Uh, a lot of recent head counting, kind of the good part is that since that's gone away, um, the whole ero the, that erosion cycle has been very much truncated. However, some areas um, were not eroded away. And those are in the those are incredibly important areas out there, and things that you know. One of my recommendations is this is where yeah, you know, this is where additional survey needs to happen. Can you talk a little more about your recommendations? Okay, um, basically two. That recommendation one is a. Um, what's known as a full class th uh, three cultural resources inventory. Ten meters between your field crew going back and forth, giving complete coverage at basically 30 feet between people for the entire project area. Or um, potentially if yeah, they opt to put in a trail system. This is only, okay, that one thing I want to give with massive caveat here is that none of these recommendations, I should, I believe, are going, should be discussed without the presence of the state archaeologists and or state historic preservation officer. They're the people who ultimately are the bottom line here. Okay, you know, I can only talk about stuff. But the other thing is surveying where people want to put in trails and, 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 and the fence system and survey that. You know, those are the right, you know, those are my recommendations. But again, that I'm not the person who gets to make the final decision here. That this, ha this gets to happen only in uh, consultation with the State Historic Preservation Officer. Dr. Hill, um, in your recommendation, at what point would you suggest the state archaeologist get involved? Moving any further, for, um, you know, beyond, really beyond the uh, point we are now? Okay. Yes, sir. I have a question for you. What is the process now for getting the state archaeologists involved? What's the next step? Do you have some data both from the archaeologists and the paleontologists, both of which indicate that there are fossil resources and archaeological resources? Mm -hmm. And if the county does acquire the land and it falls under the purview of the state archaeologists, what's the next step? Actually, they've already been contacted, and, and they already are somewhat aware of the of the situation, um, a report will go to them because we started the the process, and so they they'll they'll get the, the basically the same information that you have. Only the of course they'll get the specifics of where the artifacts are. Did that and answer your do question? They, do they provide a, a decision or a recommendation? <coughs> I'm not sure. Do they? 
Yes. <laughs> Probably a recommendation. Probably a recommendation. 